and come back to some more Fortnite Sport support for today. We'll continue on. Let's play uh, this is episode 41. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the Voxel Hat Showcase. Uh, Dickhead. Dickhead indeed. And the girl we're using is 2006 Voxel Astra VXU. Be right back. Alrighty. Because, I don't know, we used the Corsa in one of them in a Falls of Free, so we're using the Astra Astra in this game. Hooray, hurrah. Uh, no body mods, thankfully, I guess, in this case. Although, I guess I could do with all of the tyres I could get, considering this car likes to burn its front tyres. But alas, I'm not spending a single penny more on this car than I actually need to. Oh, Voxel Hat Showcase. This Voxel hosted event is open to Astras, Corsas, and Agilias. Top Gear West Circuit first. Time for the understeer. All of the understeer. Although, I don't know. Which was worse, the Astra or the Corsa? I don't remember. They're both pretty awful and notorious for understeering like bitches. So that's fun. Oh dear. I hate the voxel. What, if, what is this one? Astra. <laughs> I think I know which one this is. It's a what Corolla. Audi is this? What? What Audi is this? Um, <laughs> what Audi is this? <laughs> I wish it was an Audi. It might not be so awful to drive if it was an Audi. But instead, it's an Astra, which means I've got to look at the awful interior of a Vauxhall Astra. Also, look at the Agilias! I would use one of those. Unfortunately, they are retardedly underpowered for this event. Also, watch as every car ignores the corner you're supposed to go through on this. Get out of my way, Corsa. I've got an important chav meeting to go to. We're burning Boris Johnson, dickhead! <laughs> yeah. I'm going off now, see you some more time. Later. I like how you get Rossi in an Astra. Ragged Rossi. Madman Mula. I need, like, chav names for everyone here. Mark Webbo. Yobbo. Yobbo. I am a Top Gear co-host. Hello. No, you're not. Hi, Torrent. You've shown up at the greatest time. What? It's Voxel Hatch for a racing decade. Oh, Lord. Fucking Voxel Hatch, Max. Oh, Lord. we got to have Dickhead Dennis come Dickhead back. Dickhead Dennis is back. He's in the mix. <laughs> I've upgraded, mate. I've upgraded from your Nan's course of your car to your Nan's Astra vehicle. Oh, it's fucking sick. Please stop. It handles better than my teenage girl. Never mind. <laughs> I have knocked over some cones in true voxel fashion. Much like driving a voxel, this track is completely directionless and I don't know where I'm going. Does this. Oh god, yeah, this car does have the smallest electric window switch is known to man, like all voxels for some reason. Rossi in an Astra. Yeah, Rossi in an Astra is a terrifying. So, um, I have decided that in June I am getting direct drive wheel. What does that mean? It means 80 newton meters of turning torque, which means broken wrists. What? Hi. 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 Easy dickhead. My computer died. Oh dear. Fucking Astro with DJ Lilo and Zmix on Kiss Tory playing non stop albums and that. DJ Paul, fly from Vladivo Stalk. <laughs> can we, uh. Can we, can we get some Vin Diesel sponsored by Vin Diesel? Vin Diesel drives a Vox Lastra. Vin, Vin Diesel 73. Yeah. Vin Chavsel. We should, we should have had, uh, in, in, uh, Fast 6, we should have had, uh, Bloody and Vin. <laughs> What's up, mate? Tom it's DJ Diesel like... on the microphone. Emil's Dennis sounds like he owned a Voxel Victor. Dennis does not know what a Voxel Victor is. He knows two cars in the world. He knows the Corsa and the Astra. Well, sorry, actually, he's a chap. That means he knows three cars. 
What? You know, it's the Corsa Astra and the fucking Nissan Skyline GTI, best car ever made. Sure. Toyota Supra. Paul Walker no, quotes doesn't. on the back. He never watched the original Fast and Furious. He, 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 he hasn't he got a DVD the, player. I bet, I bet he hates the uh, Porsche Ferrari GT then. No, no, he doesn't know what that is. He doesn't oh. know Paul Walker's dead yet. He just knows he, <laughs> he just knows he buys quotes from him. Paul Walker, isn't that that guy who like used to go around chasing mantises? No, that's Steve <laughs> Steve Irwin, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell! He's dead too. <laughs> that's still not Steve Irwin. I'm not trying to do a Steve Irwin. Bloody hell, mate! Today we got a gator. You know, I'm not doing that. Is it? Yeah. Irwin. There's a Firebird here for sale. That's from. Oh no, Dubai. I'm a Vauxhall fan. I don't want to be a Vauxhall fan. But we got the Trans Am here. There's a Trans Am here for sale. A third, a third gen Trans Am. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's made out of wood. Wood. How would you rate the Astra's handling? It's awful. Genuinely, that's no exaggeration. It's. Got as, that right. As far as worst cars I've driven today, it's either this or the Mini E Clubman. They both understeer like absolute houses. <laughs> then again, I haven't driven this on a proper track yet, but we're about to. And we're about to see how bad it is. But it's, it Forza does quite a good job of simulating how bad the Astra actually is to drive. And how much better the newer Astra is, actually. I think I drove these in like Forza 7 and also concluded that this Astra. Problem with this Astra is it didn't have any differentials or anything to save it, <laughs> so it just died. It just had a straight fucking uh, axle. I like how there's a button that says Sport. It's a VXR Astra, isn't the whole point of it? <laughs> is it's supposed to be Sport. Mate, I touched that Sport button and it fell off. That's how sporty my car is. It's permanently so, on. <laughs> I went to ra a race mode ticket. <laughs> it's race mode, mate. If the button falls off, weight reduction. You know, very extreme sport. Hell yeah. Um, his re his reverse gear is just an overdrive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. R stands for race, right? Um. No, mate. Fucking hell, yeah. Th this is. I will describe the handling of the Voxel Astra very briefly. Bad. Oh my god, it's a Saturn Astra. <laughs> hmm. Did they sell that in Tudor? They might have. I actually don't know. In fairness. Alright, I will give this Astra one thing. It's actually, like, the side profile of it actually isn't too awful. It actually wasn't that bad a looking car, really. Although it's got the same issue a lot of good... Well, the same issue that cars that try to do something different like this have. Where at first mm -hmm. you're like, wow, it's actually slightly different and interesting. And then, like, you just stop noticing them. <laughs> I guess really the best compliment you could ever give about a car's styling is you just don't notice it because that's the whole point of car styling. Is you you're not supposed to really notice cars particularly. Emil. There you go, Sean. That's how bad the handling of the Astra is. Yes? Uh they do come in two door. Nice. Oh dear. Dang hard. Bet they only sold like two. I hope they only sold two. They all rusted away. Good. Probably. Well, I mean, they're more voxels, so they probably just exploded. That would make sense. Look at all the smoke I can get pouring off the front wheels if I turn really hard. <laughs> <laughs> this car is awful. It really is not good. I mean,. What we really need in, in uh, Forza is we really need the Vectra VXR. Uh oh. Just so I can understeer everywhere. 
The best way to describe this car is, have you ever tried putting 500 brake horsepower through a hatchback? Yeah, Dodge Neon. Yeah. The Dodge, I'm, the Dodge Neon probably handles better than this does. That'd be an interesting oh, little think, battle. I don't think that has a limited slip either. I mean, they both made about the same amount of power and both of the chassis are basically made from, like, clean Xboxes. Vox Lastra, the modern Austin fucking Morris Marina. Yeah, kind of. I hate the exhaust. That's one thing I'm... I, I've only just noticed this about VXR Astros. I hate the exhaust. The exhaust is so puny and awful to be like a mid mount exhaust. <sighs> this one looks slightly better because it's in blue. I refuse to buy it not in blue because the brake calipers are blue, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense, even though VXR's color is red, which is weird. Why they decided to go for the blue, but. Oh god, I think, keep forgetting that corner. That was strangely satisfying, though. I like how this particular race series is just like a bunch of tracks that are really awkward and hard to uh, navigate. I see, you talk the, I see you talk the AK line. Yeah. I, I like it how this track is, or like this race series is just the hardest to drive tracks in the worst handling front wheel drive car where you can't make snap decisions. Like, to go around corners in the Astra, you sort of have to commit to going around them corners, like, a few years before you actually do go around the corners. <laughs> Just like a challenger. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I, I'd hypothesize a challenger could probably take corners better than the Astra vehicle. So. Oh, yes. Not by much. But I have slightly more faith in Chrysler to make a good handling vehicle than Vauxhall. AK line, hell yeah. Iberian short circuit, another hard to navigate track. The AK line, i.e., forgetting what layout of the track you're on. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that probably made a really awful noise on the microphone thinking about it. We three kings of Orient are one in a Vauxhall, two sports cars. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. Is that a song? That's a Top one. Gear reference. Yeah. We three kings of something, something, one in a Vauxhall, two in sports cars. Yeah. There's a Ferrari badge up there. Dear God. My Astra is anyway. basically a Ferrari dickhead. In I fairness, with sandwich. it's got more power than a Dino. Holy fucking shit! I will take that. Twenty dollars. Had said out, but wanted to shoot something your way before I leave the stream. Thank you very, very much. Very much appreciated. Wow. That is suck your dick later. a super chat from a superman of the moving chicane. Go check him out, TMC. My boy. Got, got 20 got buckaroos. 20 fucking dollars. And now $50. watch Google AdSense not be able to push that to my fucking account. <sighs> Anyways, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Thank you extremely much. You can pay for my Euro Truck Simulator DLC. Thank you very much. Very, very much. 20 fucking dollars. Holy shit. That is a lot of money. If someone would donate 20 dollars to me. How much is the pound worth? Oh, shit, the pound's <laughs> worth a lot right now, actually. One twenty-nine dollar. So that would be okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Much appreciated. It has See lost like all momentum since election day. So now, what that means is very simple. The moving chicane is now the best person of the channel in twenty nineteen because he paid the most money. Actually, no, he didn't, did he? No, actually, let me get this in order. It would be... Scotian... Hell yeah. yeah. Hold on, let me think about this. I was thinking. Remain it's Scotian... As a... Loop. No. 
Fuck. Oh Don't strain yourself oh too hard. Oh my after Romaine. <laughs> Yeah, Romain was like a channel member blood. for like six months. Twenty dollars and one hundred plus subs. Yeah, there you go. You are the best of you. Of an otherwise lackluster year, you rise to the top like a lovely little trifle. <laughs> you earned half my monthly salary in a night. Fucking hell! I don't even have to go to work tomorrow now. I'll just palm it off and go masturbate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh. <laughs> it urged to kill these dwindling. But yes, no, thanks to the moving <laughs> chicane. He's a channel member as well. One night Hell nine, yeah. but still. Yeah. Ooh. I remember, if you're watching this and you're not a channel member, you're literally worse than Hitler. No, let me correct that. If they're not a channel member and don't have ad block, or if they do have ad block and they're not a channel member, they are Hitler. Alright. Or Greta Thunberg. Um, <laughs> What's wrong with her? She's a fucking Nazi. Annoying. I shouldn't say that, actually. YouTube would probably demonetize me. Actually, well, okay, we're, we're, uh, actually, we'll all be demonetized because we talk bad of You're Greta. You're not allowed to talk bad about people. I didn't make fun of her weird fucked up head, though, did I? So it's okay. What we are making fun of is the fact that she apparently has no childhood. Yes, despite the fact that her parents are incredibly fucking rich. Yes. I do feel slightly bad for her, because in a few years' time, she's going to be so fucked up. Isn't she already? Yeah, but like when she's like 18 and 19 and they stop caring about her because they can't use the child as a propaganda machine anymore. And they need to move on to like use another child as like a... What do you think of... I... I don't know what they are. Think of what? I don't... What the fuck is a femboy? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, never oh. mind. I don't want to know. You is, don't. is the clue not in the name? I don't know what that is. Femboy means feminist boy. No, no I, don't. I, don't, I, I don't think it means feminist. Feminine, I'd imagine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was known as a soy boy. Soy boy! <laughs> I like the word soy boy in Ben. What is coming, Keemstar? Uh, twenty dollars. Holy shit! <laughs> Look at me, Mum. I can actually make money on the internet. Dear God. I know. I'll get paid this month, provided the fucking AdSense works this month. It won't. A trap addiction. What trap? Yeah, sorry, sir. We don't deal with that here. You might as well. You should uh, contact uh, some guy named. Sydney. You should contact Karen. No. We we do actually have um, a place for people like that. That place is uh, as a hashtag 9000s DMs. Feel free to DM everything that you like and know about traps, and I'm sure you'll be happy to. Uh, or else he, or we're, we're talking about the music genre, right? I mean, Azza would know more about that as well. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Pro LRC probably would too. Actually, I've never spoken to LRC about music, I don't think. <laughs> I have literally has, no idea. He has a wide variety. Variety, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've never actually spoke to... I think it's one of the only people in the server that I've never really bothered with the whole musical thing with. Then again, I guess with a man... He's like... You don't really have to like result to the normal wells of conversation when it comes to him, because he's just... Here you go, Emil. This is the wheel. I will have you give he'll, me... Any... He'll, he'll, he'll say something RCRS to you and walk away. Yeah, pretty much. So this channel would just be a soy boy and trap complex? No! I don't know what a soy boy is, and I don't know what a trap is. All I know... ...is... He's got the stick. Like, whatever you like, just keep it the fuck away from me. I'm afraid... I know, you seem pretty desperate to find out what I liked. 
Look, yeah, but that was just because it was funny. If you act embarrassed about something, I get more interested in finding out. Oh, that time I found out someone was into BDSM, so I like, prepared never mind. Anyways, <laughs> um... Right. Let's just set the record straight. I am a traditional Tory boy. I like me women, I like the missionary position, and nothing else. Um... <laughs> America. You would get along. Boring. Yes. You, you would get along with one of the fucking states in the U.S. because of uh, it being illegal to use any any other position other than missionary. My sexual preferences are very, 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 very boring. Other than he wants to get stabbed in his sleep, and that's about it. Yeah, other than like in psychotic women. Everyone has fetishes. Just psychotic in general works. I will message Azza, good boy. There you go, Azza. What? I, I've got someone to DM you about all these weird trap faults. Good. Go uh, subscribe to Azza's Twitch channel where he's going to do a live psychoanalysis of traps. <sighs> and furries, maybe. I don't know what he does on his Twitch channel. What did like TXR or something last time? Yes. How did it go? Yeah. Yeah. The last time I seen Edison stream, it was fucking the Carbon Cleo edition. <laughs> I think it is. You're not actually a bad streamer. Yeah, I am. Oh no, you're not. Compared to like almost everyone else that tries to fucking stream. The fuck do I do? Uh, don't sit there. Go. Stop. Um, uh, 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 and also don't stream directly from console. Which sounds bad, but that irritates me for some reason. So anything that Emil does, don't do. I don't stream directly from console. I've got no ghetto, you don't. You don't need. You, you can look, but you can't touch. There we go. And what a fitting end for the Astra. Yay! Can it kill a Corsa? No, it can't. Hey, we get to level 38. And we have 100 XP less to get to the next level. Fuck. Oh. Alright. Level 38, we get a choice of modern GT2, which is the 2009 Ford No. 40 Robertson Racing Ford GT Mark 7, the 2011 Ferrari 83 Rizzi Competizione F430 GT, the 2011 Ferrari 62 Rizzi Competizione F458 Italia, the 2010 BMW 79 Jeff Coons BMW M3 GC2 Art Car, and the Jeff. 2011 Lamborghini 008 West Yokohama Gallardo LP560-4. It's between the BMW and the Ferrari, and I much prefer the design on the Ferrari, so we'll go for that Good. one. Damn. Although the art car was interesting, certainly. That might show up later on, but... Later, Chaser. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, that's yeah, it for yeah. this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Chav's second favourite brand, the Seance Club Showcase. Join us for that. Until then, farewell. You know what I'm saying. The sorrow that my heart holds in knowing just what my hopes and dreams are.